Hi guys and welcome to my weekly food shop haul. Asda has just delivered my groceries and I thought I would show you what I got, um, what I intend to do with what I've bought, like what kind of meals and stuff I'm making and also roughly how much it costs. I was doing weekly grocery hauls in my weekly vlogs on my channel but I thought I would start doing them as dedicated videos. Some people like them, some people hate them. For me, I am so nosy and I love to know what people buy on their shopping each week. Um, just to give me some meal inspiration, some shopping inspiration, um, and also um, budget ideas as well and what you can get on your budget. I personally love these kind of videos, which is why I've decided to start it as a series on my channel um, for weekly food shop hauls. Um, so if you do like that kind of content, make sure that you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments your thoughts. Um, so yeah, let's dive in and get our frozen stuff put away first before it all melts. <laughs> first up, I've got my frozen veggies. Well, actually, these are fresh sliced carrots, but I freeze them um, just for ease. Um, so <laughs> I've got two bags of fresh sliced carrots, which I'm going to freeze. Then I've got a big bag of broccoli florets and Brussels sprouts. They are not just for Christmas in my house. I love Brussels sprouts all year round. And then we got 20 thick pork sausages. I'm going to be splitting this into two dinners. I'm going to be doing sausage and mash in giant Yorkshires for one dinner and then I'm going to cook some sausages, cut it up and put it into a pasta bake for my second dinner this week. Um, I've then got four rich chicken and veg pies. These are absolutely delicious and again love them with mash and some veg. I got three giant Yorkshire puddings uh, for me and the boys um, to do the sausage dinner so got three of those and I got a pack of Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire puddings to do a midweek roast so that is all my frozen bits. Next up, I'll talk you through my chilled items. First up, meat. I've got a kilo of lean beef steak mince. I normally cut this into three, cling film it up and freeze it so that I've got three mince dinners ready, frozen in the freezer, and then I just defrost it either the night before in the fridge or on the day of on the side. Um, I've then got two packs of top side of beef, finely sliced. These are two for three pounds. And again, this is for my midweek roast. I love to wrap this in foil, pop it on a baking tray with some Aunt Bessie's roast potatoes, Aunt Bessie Yorkshire puddings, all on one tray. And then I pop some veg on to boil and that is the perfect midweek roast after the school run. Works out great. I've got some bacon as well to do something with. Not quite sure yet what, but I love having bacon in the fridge at the ready. Um, and then I got some smoky barbecue chicken breast slices um, and I'm going to make some flatbread pizzas with this during the week as well. Again, just as another quick easy dinner after the school run. We love a food hack, so pre-made mash. I know it's super lazy and I could just buy a packet of potatoes, but who's got time when you're trying to juggle babies, homework and everything else? Um, so I've got two packs of sweet and creamy root veg mash and two packs of smooth and buttery classic mash and what I do is for each of the dinners that I make, mix one of each together and serve that with whatever I'm doing. So this week that'll be pie and mash and sausage and mash. Always pack lunch bits now, I've got some pork sausage rolls, a 10 pack. I literally just dropped it on the way carrying it into my kitchen so that's not an Asda fault, that's a my fault but the packet completely split as I dropped it on the floor. So 10 sausage rolls there and then I've got 6 cheese and onion rolls as well, the boys love taking them in their packed lunches. Then got mini pepperamis. Um, cheese snack options, either the Dairy Leaf strip cheese or cheese strings. And then I get them wildlife tube yogurts as well. They then also love taking crisps of their lunches. So this isn't part of the chilled section, but I thought while we're doing pack lunch chats, um, Walker's uh, roast chicken and smoky bacon is their go-to crisps. Then their fruit selection for their lunches, we've got Easy Peeler oranges, bananas, not just their lunches, they can have it whenever they want in the house. Pineapple chunks and grapes. Then got jacket potatoes, a pack of four, I'll do that with tuna mayo or beans and cheese during the week. Uh, cucumber, um, two bags of lettuce salad, because we love a salad. Um, cherry tomatoes, mixed peppers and spring onions smells so good. <laughs> then have a six pint of blue milk and a pack of mozzarella as well to do the flatbread pizzas with. 
that's it for my chilled stuff, so I'm just gonna pop that away now. Some household essentials, I've got some kitchen roll and 20 bin bags. Our cereal options for this week are 24 wheat bisques and choco hoops. Then got two loaves of bread as usual, which is the soft, white, toasty, thick sliced bread. I absolutely love this bread, it's great. Um, then we've got two packs of flatbreads to make my flatbread pizzas and also maybe to have some like salad, um, kebab type things or something like that. Um, I've then got my usual crumpets, which I absolutely love, Warburton's crumpets. And then Asda had these in their Halloween section and I could not resist. So I picked myself up for pumpkin crumpets. Um, so yeah, excited to give those a go. And then we've got some food cupboard bits. I got uh, 12 medium eggs. Got two tins of Heinz hoops, two tins of Asda baked beans, and a tin of sweet corn. I've then got a carton of passata as well. Baby dinner top ups just for any meals that Ava won't be able to have, my one year old daughter. Um, so we've got veggies, pork, and mango. And then we've got Caribbean chicken and chicken curry. So I always like to have these in the cupboard in case I can't adapt any of our dinners for her. Um, and then sweet treats. I got the boys a strawberry milkshake mix. Then we've got some Reese's Pieces and Reese's Minis and Cadbury Bourneville and Cadbury white chocolate. So that was my weekly food shop, guys. As a single mum of three kids, I normally budget £100 a week for my food shop. I can come in drastically under budget sometimes, um, but this week I did £97. So pretty close to the budget, um, but we did get ourselves some extra little sweet treats and treats as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. If you did like the video, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite item on this shopping and what are your thoughts on weekly food shop hauls. And yeah guys, I will see you very soon for another video. Take care, bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>